Hello, last year around this time, almost a year ago I think, I did a video about 21 audiophile editions to start an audiophile vinyl collection in 2021. And uh, yeah, the year is over. I thought about doing this, something like that for, for 2022. And, and it was quite interesting, quite striking. I remembered how, how difficult it was to find those 21 records for 2021. And not because there are not 21 great sounding records, but they had to be in print and easily available. You have to get them for decent regular prices, otherwise <laughs> doesn't make much sense. And wow, that changed. To, if I would do the same now for 2022 and, and looked out 22 records with records that sounds audiophile quality and sounds great, no problem. And in print, no problem at all. So that shows what an great year this has been for audiophile collectors for great sounding editions and um, so I thought and I think this is a, a, a watch through the looking glass uh, what will happen what what will change what what will how, how if you start now there are a lot of people now coming into our beloved hobby the audiophile vinyl the good sounding vinyl newbies and, and new collectors people who are interested in it and and so doing 22 records for 2022 doesn't wouldn't make much sense i think and so this is a video about the audio file market as a whole what is out there what can you get almost for sure what makes sense and in the second more theoretical part I talk about how you really can save a lot of money building up your audiophile collection because I think due to the fact that the things will change that there, there are really big changes upcoming in the next year uh, uh, this has a huge effect on how to collect in the next year maybe completely different than than we are we are used to it so but now let's start with part one and part one is the more practical part what is out there what is coming what makes sense what is audiophile and there are series three series we go through four series excuse me we go through and where you as as, as a beginner uh, can be almost sure that you can get great copies. The first series I want to talk about with you is the classic series from Blue Note. They put out in, 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 in the typical month uh, around two editions. In November of this year and December of this year they put out four because those are the heavy months and you really get audiophile quality mastered by Kevin Gray, Kevin Gray on 180 gram uh, audiophile vinyl and uh, marvelous, beautiful, beautiful stuff. Another important thing, and I go into that part a little deeper again, they will stay in print. They do represses of them. That can take a while but calm down, they will repress them if they aren't available for quite some time. So, although this series had its quality issues, no doubt about that, they get better in my opinion. The quality issues are not that many as, as at the beginning, so we can, be hope, we can hope for the best. Second series, again, from Blue Note, where you also get fantastic audio files stuff brilliant stuff maybe even a tad better quality due to the fact that those releases are pressed over at rti they get the great stouten covers great stuff beautiful stuff even friedrich as you make here does agree great stuff you have the gatefolds that you don't get when you buy the classic releases with the session photos um but of course 
those are a little bit more pricey. You can get the uh, 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 classic series releases for around 20, 22 euros here in Germany. Those are above 30 euros uh, generally. So this is great stuff. Friedrich, calm down. I'm doing a video. <laughs> okay, sorry. Um, those are two series. The third series I want to talk about, where you also great, brilliant copies, beautiful copies, very similar to the uh, to the um, Tone Poet series. That is the Acoustic Sound series from uh, 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 Chad Kessin, pressed over at Quality Records Pressing. Great stuff. They have also the beautiful Stoughton covers, gatefold. They uh, do a lot of impulse and verve releases, also generally in incredible beautiful uh, uh, quality. Um, mostly, or all of them so far, I think, are mastered by Ryan K. Smith from Sterling Sound. Top notch releases for a very decent price, same price uh, as, as the Tone Poets. They come out as 33 and a third releases, not 45 RPMs, but they sound marvelous. The, the um, Charles Mingus Black Saint and the Sinner Lady has been my number two uh, release of the Jazz Audio Fire Remasters of the year. And this was not an easy to get play. So top notch, great, great quality. There is a fourth season, a series, excuse me, fourth series uh, that is out there that I really, really do highly recommend. And this comes from Vinyl Me Please. And that is, and, and that is their classic series. Beautiful jazz soul releases, top-notch quality. Also, mostly most of the remasters are from Ryan K. Smith. Great one. This is a subscription service. You get one record per month. You can always uh, cancel the subscription. Great, great, interesting stuff. And a great service for us Europeans or here in Germany. The prices you see are with shipping, which is incredible, unbelievable. So highly, highly recommended. A little bit under the radar sometimes, uh, um, at my opinion, the classic series from Vinyl Me Please. Great stuff. So, with this series, you really cover a lot of the upcoming audiophile releases in 2022, I'm sure. There's much more, we go into it. Um, but when it comes to the availability and to, to building up a collection, this is not only a series or a label question. There are artists that put out incredible, incredible, great sounding records. And I show you four of those artists where you can almost be sure that you get a fantastic sounding record. The first I show you, the first one I want to share with you is Frank Zappa. Here's an example, Joe's Garage, Acts 1, 2 and 3. The Zappa Trust, who, who uh, uh, brings out the, the Zappa albums, does an incredible great job when it comes to the quality, the sound quality of Frank Zappa's releases. It's gorgeous, great stuff, fantastic. Really love it. Very reliable, has a good availability. Highly, highly recommended this, this release is from, from uh, Frank Zappa and, and, and the Zappa Trust. Fantastic. Another artist who really is into great sounding releases of his catalog and also very reliable is, yes, of course, Neil Young. The Neil Young remasters, the, the, the series he, he puts out, uh, his incredible catalog is breathtakingly beautiful. Great, great stuff. When you buy an, uh, a Neil Young album out of his uh, uh, um, series, you can be sure that you get a very, very, very good sounding copy. Great job, Neil Young, Frank Zappa. Now I'm showing five artists, I remember now. Another artist, contemporary artist, 
um, Julian Welch. Uh, Julian Welch, from the, uh, with her Econy label, she puts out incredible good sounding releases. Everything that it's not only Julian Welch, other artists on this Econy label. What they put out is top notch, great quality. Also, highly recommended. Look up the Econy label, look up Julian Welch. Gorgeous, great stuff. So, but there are other two I want to I want to put in. Uh, 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 want to want to talk about two artists out of the electronic avant-garde scene, and those two who also puts out brilliant uh, uh, albums and fantastic sounding albums. One is Alva Noto, great German artist. Look out the Rasta or the Noton, or the, because they split up, or the Rasta Noton label. Those are fantastic sounding electronic albums. Alva Noto, great, great artist. Second one out of this electronic avant-garde scene I uh, uh, want to talk about with you is Nicolas Shah. Great music, brilliant sounding releases, brilliant. Those are audiophile quality, it's, it's breathtaking. Look out for Nicolas Ja or Alva Noto when you want to have fantastic sounding electronic releases. Other great sounding releases comes from Orteca. So also in this area we have and will get great sounding releases. Okay, now for the, <laughs> for now for the more theoretical part. How can you save money building up your audiophile vinyl collection? And the most important uh, recommendation I have nowadays for you, it has been different. Um, and, and I spent a lot of money, which I sh probably doesn't need to, uh, um, is maybe with one sentence, don't look back. Don't look back. Why do I say that? Because do you, maybe the, the, this classic series, this Tone Poet series, really puts some pressure on those audiophile war horses, let's call them that mobile fidelity sound lab uh, analog production. Because suddenly a big player now gives us audiophile recordings. And, and this is one effect. The next effect, there is a new vinyl formulation out there. We have Clarity Vinyl, we have Super Vinyl, we have SRX. In fact, those are better, is, or this is just better sounding vinyl due to the fact that it has almost no noise floor. But this also means, and, and MoFi showed us that they are going this route, and I have one example here, the fantastic Inagada Davida from, from Iron Butterfly, that they will bring out their releases as editions on super vinyl, made on one step or, or just on super vinyl. So we will get back those extremely, extremely high priced editions, like for example, Bitches Brew. I think it's around 450 euros now for a decent copy. copy. But it will come back and even better, even in a better quality on super vinyl as a one step, which is a production process. So, get, if you are interested in them, get the new stuff. Don't go over at eBay or Discogs and pray this sometimes insanely high prices for those uh, uh, out of print editions. The market is growing and growing and growing and that means they will give them back to us because they can make a shitload of money out of them which is okay, which is no problem at all. Don't buy those flipper prices, don't. There is no need to. Be patient. You will get your copy. Same, and as I said that when we started the video, same with, uh, 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 for example, uh, uh, Chad Baker sings on, on, on Tone Poet. There will be a repress. Don't pay 200 bucks for this. They will repress them eventually. They are building up more capaci production capacities. We will see them back. There is nowadays, 
in my opinion, only in very, very few occasions the need to pay those highly, high, high, high prices. So don't look back, look what is coming and get them for regular prices. No need to feed the flippers, no need. Trust me on that one. This you will see in 2022, they will put so many releases. Uh, uh, Chad uh, Kassim also announced that he will repress the whole uh, prestige uh, releases he did. Those are 50 releases. Some, some of them are so high priced over at Discogs no need to pay those high prices, although they will now be on 180 gram vinyl, which has no, uh, uh, um, no effect on the sound quality, so no need, no need, trust me on that part. The second uh, uh, recommendation, and then I'm, I'm through with it, it's, it's long enough, um, the second important recommendation I can give you is organize. Organize your 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 uh, things your stuff sign to newsletters that you get early information sign to the newsletters of of those labels they inform you what is coming um, look up vc videos there are a lot of videos they inform you how good is the pressing you'll have a couple of hours uh, uh, usually to to order these records it's not that they are gone within minutes sometimes they are but in most cases they aren't. Um, and for the Europeans, especially for the, for, the, for the Germans, organize, get one or two friends together, order at Music Direct or Acoustic Sounds. It's much cheaper if you do that, much cheaper. Don't, buy, don't, don't pay these ridiculous prices here over at Germany. It's, it's, it's an insult, but I've talked about that. So, those are my recommendations, my, my, maybe my overview, my, my uh, look through the looking glass for 2022. Maybe you can, it can help the one or the other of you. If not, I hope you still have had a good time watching this video. And of course, if you have recommendations too, if you have thoughts or ideas, what, how will 2022, how will it be? Put a comment down below, share your information, share your knowledge. It helps us all. So, thank you for your time. See you on the next video. Bye.